I have found my worth in Christ by seeking God's approval rather than worldly approvals. In Galatians 1.10, it says, I am now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God, or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Before I was saved, I was a very quiet, shy, overall, insecure girl. But Jesus has shown me that I am loved unconditionally and given me confidence in knowing my place and purpose as a child of God and my worth rests in Him alone. The way I found my worth in Jesus is the parable of the lost sheep, Matthew 18, 10 through 14. Um, I found that no matter what happens in my life, it will always lead me back to the herd as he is my shepherd. He has a plan for my life and fully trusting that has allowed me to become more comfortable with who I am in Jesus and to help me kind of find my identity in life and to find out who I am and who I need to become. Over this past year, I found my worth in Jesus by being faithful in Him and Him being faithful in me and having that mutual faithfulness in each other. I find my worth in Him that He is my guide. Without Him, I'd be a compass spinning around that camp point north. And I'd compare myself to other people and their walk with the Lord and how they could just really hear Him clear through prayer or through scripture. But it wasn't until recently I discovered that I can really feel His presence through worship. And I discovered that by being able to use the gifts that he's blessed me with. And I've been a part of the worship band here at Burn Hickory for six years now. It doesn't matter how the world views me or what the world thinks of me, because God loves me unconditionally and he values me so much that what the world thinks doesn't matter at all. Over these past years, I have gotten to found my worth in Jesus through prayer and through the call to ministry. I have found my worth in myself through him and to build his kingdom. He gave me new life. Uh, he saved a wretch like me through the cross when he died for us. Uh, we just celebrated Easter like a couple weeks ago and ever since I gave my life to him it has been life changing for sure. Psalms 139 verse 14 has stuck with me. It says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. No matter what, I am valued, not because I excelled in sports or school, but because I am his. Today, I am confident and proud to say that I am a child of God. Burn Hickory and the Radio Student Ministries have helped me find my worth in God through their sermons, and they have helped me grow more in my faith. I found my worth in Christ through the biblical truths that the leaders have always presented to us. And this is so important because they have never given us the fluffy truth that we want to hear or the things that seem nice. They've always told us the real truth and that's very important in shaping who we are because we live in a real world and we're about to step into that. So knowing those truths is very important to understanding our worth in Christ stepping forward. Burnt Hickory is really helped me find my worth as well in Jesus, just to uh, radiate through the Bible studies, just fellowshipping together and diving into God's word. But ultimately, uh, Freedom Week in 2020, where I gave my life to Jesus. My family has gone through some of the most difficult circumstances imaginable, but I was overwhelmed by the love and support given to me and my family last summer by the staff, life group leaders, and members of this church. They showed me what it truly means to love a neighbor, just as Jesus loves each one of us, and I will never forget how much it meant to me and Radiate has really helped me to find people who want to be those kinds of encouragers, who want to support me and want to love on me. And through Radiate, I've really created a family that I'm so thankful to God for, who really speak life into me. I feel like I'm always at home, whether it's like my life group or it's Chip, Matt, Big Steve, Eli, like I can count on those guys no matter what. If I want to talk to them about anything going on in my life, I know that they'll always be there for me. But not only has Radiate given me the opportunity to learn more about God, they've given me the opportunity to serve others, whether that be cleaning up a local high school or going out to do something as grand as a mission trip in Kenya or Alaska coming up this summer. And I just wanted to thank Burn Hickory and for Radiate just for giving me all these opportunities to serve. And this is where I feel called to be. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the encouragement and for teaching me and training me on how to be a leader of Christ. Y'all have had a huge impact on me and who I am today. Um, it's y'all who've held me accountable and loved me when I've needed it the most. And I am incredibly grateful for you guys. I am blessed with having teachers who consistently are also grounded in their faith, but they know the word and we are taught so well on it. And um, yeah, I love it. I don't know what I would do without it. I'm gonna miss it. 
Radiate has helped me find my worth in Jesus by surrounding me with a great group of friends that love me and support me in a very similar way and have really just shown me what my worth is outside of the world's lens. Brent Hickory has strengthened my walk with Jesus and shown me that I am valued by God, not because of anything that I have done, but because of His perfect grace and mercy. Radiate has really supplied me with the tools and ability to know how to be and stay in a relationship with Christ and really has given me people and leaders around me that I can really love and rely on whatever I need them. 